Where will the future of computing start? The quantum revolution, supercomputing, edge analytics. The solutions are countless. The impacts are endless. But the foundation is always the same. It starts with Intel. Hallelujah to Jesus, Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, we of this, be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with the child of God. Jesus loves you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry, God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Child of God, look at yourself very well. Look at yourself very well and tell yourself that you are not the problem. Yes. This is a word of confidence that the Lord had me to tell somebody. He said, you are not the problem. The problem is that the world has stopped acknowledging good things. Yes. You might be asking yourself, oh, maybe you are the problem. Why things? Why this? Why that? No. You are innocent. The problem that we have is that we are in a world that have decided, that have passed law, that only acknowledge evil, that only acknowledge bad things, that only acknowledge negative things, that only that only acknowledge wrong things. So when the world is acknowledging bad things, evil things, things that are not even pleasant to look at in the face at all. The world is acknowledging it's you that is doing the right thing. No, they will not acknowledge you. Why? Because they have shifted their mind away from good things. They have shifted their mind away from the things of God. They have shifted their mind away from the fear of the Lord. A man that does not have the fear of the Lord cannot understand what the things of the Lord are. Cannot understand how it functions. So if they cannot understand how your life is functioning, they will want you to feel as if you are the problem. Like you are the problem. You are too difficult. You are too stubborn. They will want to say all of those harsh things. To make you really look at your life as if you have a problem. Child of God, you are not the problem. <laughs> now look at what is going on in the world. You see all the war, all the war, the problem that is going on, the war here and there. Oh, fight, battle, war here and there. Are you not telling me that the innocent people that are being killed in the midst of this war, they are the problem? No, they are not the problem. The problem are the ones in authority, those ones that have the power, the worldly power in their hands. Those ones that think that they have the whole world in their hands, that they are not going to die. They are going to live forever. That is the problem. Why? Because the world have chosen to acknowledge power more than human life. They no longer see value in human life. Even if they recorded that, oh, million people died today, they don't care. They have shifted their attention into acknowledging power, 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 power. And you hear somebody say, what have I done? They did nothing. You did nothing, child of God. The truth is that the world has stopped acknowledging good things. The world has stopped. We are in the end time. And the Bible is playing out in our very own eyes. I pray may the Lord give you understanding. It is well with you, Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye. Perfect.